Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to pick up their material supply kits. And for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a brush stroke canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. Um, so this month we've got our big white envelopes and inside you are going to have um, the 11 by 14 paper plate since we're um, got a little bit bigger paint this week this month um, it is a two inch chip brush and then uh, stapled to the envelope was a small snack bag with four colors of paint um, black red green and yellow uh, and other than the supplies being provided, um, something you might consider uh, is some water to rinse off your brush in between colors, um, a paper towel to clean off your brush in between colors. Um, I'm going to pour the paint onto the plate. That'll be our palette. Um, so if you've got any craft sticks or even the end of a paintbrush um, that you can clean off, to pour the paint out so you get all the paint out of the little cups. Um, and if you have other brushes, if you've participated in previous uh, canvas projects, if you've got like this one is a little bit bigger of a brush or something along the line of a chip brush, even if you've got a bigger one um, from some previous painting projects, uh, that way you can give yourself some different sized brush strokes. But if you just I do have something down on my work surface so that I don't get any paint on my table that isn't easily cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic from my canvas. And it looks like these ones have the little shims in the back. Um, so if your canvas is loose, um, there are notches in each of the corners to really tighten the canvas onto its frame. Um, but for this particular piece, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is. I want to prep my paint. As I said, it was a little bit more in these little one ounce cups. So I didn't want to just put it into the envelope. Hopefully everyone got their paint successfully without any spills. You can always contact the library if there's any issues uh, with your kit supplies. Um, and as the library... Uh, by the time you see this recording, the library will be open again, but for the past few days we've been having an ice storm, so the library has, uh, so look in your emails for that. Um, I am just going to pour out a nice little pile of paint using my craft stick to get all the paint out. And this plate um, should be big enough that to start out with, my paints won't overlap. There, I'll be very careful and use the opposite side of the stick, so I only have to use two rather than four. Just get that paint a fair amount out. The plastic of these smaller one ounce um, is pretty pliable. So even if you don't have any uh, craft sticks or anything that you could use to get paint out of it, um, you should really be able to squeeze it just like those little ketchup cups and get mm, the majority of the paint out. I provided this. Um, for this project so that your two inch brush is bigger than the little one inch cups So I didn't want anyone to have trouble getting paint on their brush because it was Too small to get the brush was too big to get into the cup itself All right, Get this green out real quick and get started a keen observer will note that this is the canvas project video for February of 2023 um, and as we honor February as 
uh, Black History Month, I did make the choice for these particular colors for this project um, on purpose. So this is one of those techniques that really doesn't require too much forethought um, or too much design to it. Uh, you really are just going to kind of jump in there and uh, get the brush strokes on. Uh, I am going to start with green. So I'm just going to get a fair amount and I'm mostly getting it on one side of my paintbrush here. I'll make sure I've got it all the way across. Um, and I'm just going to do a brush stroke, just as the name says. I'm not going to be too concerned when the paint starts to peter out if I do um, kind of a long brush stroke. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to continue on. And I get that cool kind of um, feathering almost effect. Give a little short green one coming this direction. And it, if I lift my brush just a little and pull away, I'm getting some really nice, let's come down here for a curve. All right, I'm actually gonna switch brushes here. And one extra so I can jump in with one of our other colors. And for this yellow, I'm really gonna try with even less paint. So I'm using the side of my plate to pull off um, some more of the paint so that when I come through here, I'm getting even more kind of pop of the white canvas behind. And I can come back if I wanna give the top of this brush stroke a little bit more I still want that that bit of in the middle there. So actually, I do want to do another wide stroke in the red. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this brush off with the yellow. Giving yourself time for this project, you may decide that you only want to pull out one color, add some brush strokes, um, allow them to dry. Um, or perhaps do several colors, but pull out only a portion of the paint so that then once this first layer of colors is dry, I could come back through um, and go across without really getting uh, the paint kind of blending together, as it were, if I did, if the paint was wet. So I'm just going to come right up there like that. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, so I'm going to set this down. I'm actually going to pull out my um, kind of smaller, and I'm going to do some accents in the black. Um, and I did choose this brush because it's a wider um, and kind of a, a more coarse bristle brush so that it would give that little flick at the end. Come through here. Give it some accents and as you can see with this I haven't even gone back to the palette for more paint I'm just giving let's see come opposite with the brush stroke and then that, as I continue pulling paint from the brush this way I'm getting fewer and fewer more of that stroke brush stroke effect as I come through and I think that I would leave this canvas to dry and kind of come back through with the black as accents, um, maybe adding down to the center of one of my thicker strokes in that way. You could kind of blend your paint. So I've got my green brush here. that still has some green paint on it. I'm going to try and just for this technique, come in and snag some of the black. Um, and I'm doing that from above so I don't get a lot of the black paint into, or the green paint into the pool of black. I'm gonna do the same and see if I can catch some red on there. So now I actually have several colors on this brush stroke. So I'm gonna come from a the top again, and I'm gonna pull through. And so that gives me, it's a little tough, I should have done it, I guess, with the other colors. Let's see if you can kind of see if I get real close to the camera, you can see that we've got that 
hint of those other colors in the brush stroke. You see the little bit of red here at the corner um, in that way. So as I said, since this isn't dry, if I came to say this yellow and pulled through, I would mix in a little more. That actually looks really cool. I'm gonna pull down through this green. Get a little bit of that black in there. Actually, I think I'm gonna start from this side on the red. Pull through some. Very cool. And if you've got some um, extra paper around, you've got enough paint with this project that if you did want to do some prep work, kind of decide um, what some of the looks you'd like, take some paper and practice. Um, the thicker the paper, the more it will be similar to what you would get by um, the effects you would get while painting on the canvas itself. Um, but any paper will really give you at least a little something to work with. So you should have more than enough paints for this project. Um, we hope you liked this particular project. We look forward to next month and enjoy.